So the whole point in approaching a woman is to do it naturally. See, everything you've learned and been told up to this point is very unnatural. And it causes too many issues, too many visuals. There's too many opportunities for a woman to want to shy away from you or to run from you. So you've got to stay in the natural. Ask yourself the one question, what's natural going on around me right now? Like what is the whole reason why I'm standing where I'm standing, even though a beautiful woman happens to be there, which is natural. Let's say you're at a food truck. I love using this example for some reason because it's lunchtime, you need to eat. Uh, somebody else happens to be in that same situation. And it's natural, you both need to eat. You're attracted to her, obviously. She may or may not be attracted to you, and that may be because she may or may not uh, even sees that you are there. Okay, so up to that point, everything's very natural. You're looking at the food on the menu, you look over at her. Now what's gonna happen from this point on that's unnatural. If, bear with me for a minute and let's sidestep this. Unnatural. Robert Greene, he wants me to exploit her daddy issues. So I'm gonna do some Sherlock Holmes deduction here and she's wearing a Who's My Daddy t-shirt and I'm gonna exploit that, okay? Or there's this guy on YouTube that acts like he's in junior high again and he approaches women in a very non-seducing, very immature way. Very unnatural. It's, it's creepy. It's uncomfortable. You've got to have a pint of alcohol in you in order for you to do the same idiotic things that this guy does. Um, you know, the Neil Strauss book. Phenomenal book, but maybe you haven't read it, so you don't know what to do there as far as you know what that guru would teach you so everything you're going to do from this point on following the advice of a guru is going to be very unnatural now i'm not professing to be this guru i don't want you to follow my methods although the things that i teach are creating that powerful natural approach that comes from you okay so back to what we were talking about. Now let's get into the natural. With you, some things are gonna be very natural. You may be funny, you may be very good looking, you may uh, have confidence. Those are the things that you're going to use. Uh, what's natural with her is she's gonna be hungry. There may be other variables outside of the approach, like she has a boyfriend, she's coming out of a relationship. You know, so be aware of those things popping up. They're not gonna bother you because they're not gonna in interfere with your natural approach. So look around, what else is natural? Is she standing in front of you, behind you? Has she looked at you? What other people are there? Um, what else are you thinking about other than her if you take her out of the equation? Which is another one of my PowerPoints. Take that subject out of context and just deal with everything that's going on around you first. So let's say uh, there is a bowl of noodles and meat that is for sale at this food truck. And there are four different levels of how spicy it is mild all the way on to your lips are going to burn off from the acid that's inside of these peppers. You know, so you're going to strike up conversation, approach, because this is something I'm always telling you. You should be approaching everybody in a setting, not just one person. You don't just give one person all of your attention. I mean, that is approach suicide. It really is. All the, everyone else is going to teach you that that's not the case. But here, you are creating a natural approach. And so, whoever's standing closest to you, or whoever does look at you, it might be 
the um, short Asian guy who's also going to lunch. It might be the bodacious, gorgeous woman who you're not looking at. It might be the little old lady that looks like your mother or something. You know, it could be a number of things. So whoever looks at you, whoever's nearby, just ask them, hey, you know, what what spicy noodle is the one you would go with? I have a feeling I would like the one that you are going to get. And so the, the little lady might say, you know, I like hot foods, but my stomach can't handle it. And I like the, not the most mild, but the next one up. And, and you're going to be like, oh, you know, I agree with you. I've got stomach issues already, probably from eating too many jalapenos my whole life. And I'm going to go with that one. And by this time, your voice has been not too loud to where you're throwing yourself into other people, but the woman that you were looking at has probably glanced over at you. You might even see in her non-verbals that she wants to even offer an opinion, but she's not going to. Because now she's seen you, she might be attracted or be able to tell that you're a good looking guy or her type or again, variables, more of the mitigating variables, not necessarily the aggravating variables. And so at this point, pull her right into the conversation because it's natural. Wouldn't you do that if you're just talking to a fellow spirit, whether it's male or female? Be like, which one would you go with? And it's not creepy, you're not hitting on her, you're not trying to change your voice and sound like Barry White. You're just pulling her into it. And she is now going to say, I was thinking the same thing, but I find that even that one is way too hot. I like the mild one because I find that that one is really spicy too. And, And you're like, you know, that's exactly, I think, what I needed to hear because if I eat something a little too spicy, it's going to kill me all day. <laughs> you know, and there might be some chuckles. It's not really a joke, but you know how people, they throw their little ha-has in there and it's just because that's the way we talk. Um, you know, locally, I, I, I know I was raised that my my family, I, I hear them throw little chuckles in their conversation just because we're enjoying ourselves. You know, and so... Now you're talking with her and bada boom, bada bing, you guys are talking. It's natural you're not hitting on her uh, because hitting on someone doesn't always have to come first. That can come later, you know, and so maybe ask a little bit more about that. Well, which, uh, which meat are you getting with that? Beef, great, I love beef. You know, just to get some more words in there, just so she can become a little bit more familiar with you. And you don't want to overdo it because there are guys that will follow my advice up to this point and they keep going. And all of a sudden they're talking about beef prices in the Indonesian market. I mean, come on, you're not trying to bore and you don't want to keep talking about stupid crap because now you're getting into the unnatural. Now you've got her attention. You got to keep her. You got to keep pushing through. You got to drive it home. You know, forget all that, all of that. Maybe don't ignore her, but kind of look back at the menu and, and be like, thank you, you know, and look away. And here in a few moments, you can maybe pull her in again. So she gets her bowl of beef and noodles and she was first. So she walks past you and, and now you can say, hey, that looks really good. I hope mine looks half that good. Um, what office are you working in? Oh, that one, it's on the second floor. Um, yeah, I see a lot of your coworkers. I don't see you, you know, often. Let it go. Let her go to work. Let her have her day. She now knows who you are. She sees that you meet a bunch of qualifications. And when I say that, I mean, you haven't done the 10 things that all the other guys did wrong. Next time you see her, and you will, now that you have put each other into the same timeline, the same path, it's interesting how once you see someone, you're going to see him again. I'm telling you, just trust the system. It happens. And so the next day, um, you see her, and you can kid around and say, oh, I've had heartburn all day from 
getting that noodle. Oh, really? You did? No, I'm just kidding. I, I got the right level. I'm glad you spoke up because otherwise I probably would. And then she's going to linger and you're going to talk with her for a moment. And every time this happens, don't outdo your welcome. Um, just let it be. Let it happen naturally. And as that happens naturally, you can now start implementing innuendos and suggestions. And then it comes to that point where you can just ask her as a friend, are you in a relationship or do you, you know, find out those questions that would naturally reject you. Uh, but still keep you in, in a friend zone, which, guys, I'm telling you, if you do friend zone right, it's great. Because a lot of women are not available. And would you want to be their enemy? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And so why not be their friend? But you're, it's at arm's length. And so that time is going to come where you're not the friend who's always going to be the friend. You're the friend who was her friend because she was dating somebody. And so when they break up, if that ever happens, and again, you want to be positive. You want to put good out there in the universe. You want her to be in a successful relationship. Because if you're hoping for a woman to have an unsuccessful relationship, you're putting that same energy into your relationship with her. And when I say relationship, I just mean relation, uh, you know, uh, communication and and uh, so on and so forth. And so really that's how you have it. That's the natural approach. You put that same dynamic in every single situation and you are going to be having tons of great communications. Now, if you had coaching from me, there's several steps that lead up to this. And, you know, I, I can really help with more baby steps that's gonna make that far more powerful and easier for you to find those situations. So either subscribe to my channel. I promise my videos won't always be slanted, but I'm driving and I need to give the, the road my attention. I can't be looking at the screen, but I was inspired to do this video now. So hit me up if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon.